Hello, uh, my name is Larry Shu, and my profession uh, is an associate professor at McNeese State University in Lake Charles, Louisiana. When I, when I first came in, the jury, uh, I wanted just to do a quick preview. And some pieces right off the bat, I knew were going to be in the selection. It's just a natural thing to gravitate towards things that were gut level, saying, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And then I come back around again. And some of the, the pieces I picked in the beginning, I may have actually made another decision and maybe picked another one from that artist. I would switch it around. So it, it was a matter of selection, and I guess, and deleting in some ways. I wanted to make sure that I picked a diverse show, and it was easy to do because there's a lot of different works out here. Actually, there's some, uh, the paintings hit me right off the bat, and also uh, printmaking. Of course, that's my specialty, but I also, I gotta make a point. I was one of those artists here at the University of South Dakota that had as many hours in painting as I had in printmaking. I just made a decision to go into printmaking. I guess I thought it was a little less competitive in a graduate school level, because I knew I wanted to be an art professor at a college level, and I had fulfilled that. So uh, picking the artworks, uh, I'm more tuned to also three-dimensional pieces. My wife took ceramics, and so I had a great love for the three-dimensional items and construction uh, of pieces. Everything was so expressionistic. And also uh, made my selections based on illustrational qualities of some pieces. Uh, if things were technically sound, and it looked like the artist was sincere in what they were doing. There's a screen print by Jacob Duga, which really I was drawn to from the standpoint that it became almost like a painting in the aspect of the dimensionality of it. So he denied the process. I'm always attracted to a media that denies what it is. You know, the biggest compliment is saying, so uh, what kind of screen print is that? And someone would say, no, that's a digital print. So if you can necessarily fuel, fool the viewer, but if your process supersedes the media, I think that's a different realm. And I think Jacob's piece does, does that. Is that image is strong, process is technically sound, color, good choices, scale helps uh, a lot as well in that piece. I would, uh, the advice I would give is to take to heart that you did get in the competition, and if you didn't get in the competition, it doesn't mean that you should stop what you're doing. Because if I had to base my decisions based on acceptance or rejection, I probably would have stopped several times. So rejection is part of the process of growing. It doesn't mean that your piece is terrible, and getting in doesn't mean that, hey, this is what I'm gonna do the rest of my life. It's just for this moment, this time, it was selected uh, by me for the things I thought were important, which were the process, the craft being handled well, and also the uh, element of design and the way they place things within the borders or outside the borders. And sometimes it's image, so, and a blend of all. So there's never one concrete answer to selecting. You go with your guts, you go with what you feel it communicates, and then, uh, then you pick it for maybe a totally different reason. It could be just the arrangement of things, uh, the message it conveys, and maybe some of it has no message at all. It's just a very beautiful object to look at. It's all about beauty and seduction.